everyone. It's a horrible day today. It's absolutely chucking it down and miserable. And it's very rainy. Anyway, so today I thought I would react to some old videos which I'm kind of regretting now. So my old YouTube videos. Now I have been going, I have been uploading, what's this? I have been doing YouTube for a while now, maybe like three years, over three years, it's just flown by and I thought it would be funny to watch some of my old videos and just chill. Also, I'm loving these new fairy lights. These were from HomeSense and they're so nice, I really love them and I've also got my new light up which I'm in love with. Okay so I've got my laptop here and I'm going to be watching the videos now so this is going to be fun and I'm going to start off with my very first video which was DIY guinea pig runs I think. I'm not going to be watching the whole video just like little snippets of different videos. 240,000 views Pretty good. Hey everyone, welcome to my new channel. It's called Pets Palace TV. So today I'm going to be featuring all my guinea pigs so you can get to know them a bit better. And in future videos I'll show all of my other pets too. I actually sound so young here. This is so weird. We created our own design so I thought I'd just show you what they look like. They have a head tilt going on there. So the next run is Pudsy's run. So on with the tour. So this is when we had like our guinea pigs separated. We had two males, Bromley and Pudsy. We saw Bromley. Um, they used to fight, so we had to keep them separate. And then this was Bromley's run. Um, and then Pudsy. Oh, I miss Pudsy so much. He was such a character. He's having a bit of a rest, bless him. So yeah, it's very sweet. Oh, he's come up to see. He's very nosy, is Pudsy when he's awake. So here he's got his bendy logs bridge thing which he likes to hide under. He's got a living world water bottle. Okay these runs are pretty small but considering I didn't have much knowledge about them at the time I would say that was pretty good. Um, better than pet shop cages still. The next run has three females and one neutered male. If you're wondering what neutered means it just means that he can't have any babies with the girls obviously so yeah that's a very good thing. We didn't get him neutered, we didn't make that decision but when we adopted him he was already neutered so we thought he'd go well with our girls because our girls used to have quite a bit of scraps but since we got him it's really sorted them out and they're just really calm now. That was our little herd at the time. Right okay I'm going to have a look and see what else I can find. A guinea pig vlog, my first vlog I think. So I've just come inside and I've seen all the guinea pigs all under the shelf together which is so sweet. They're all like cuddled up together, all four, up, four, all four of them so yeah, that's really sweet. And then Pudsy's under his shelf. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> and Brown was just kind of chilling out in the open, so cute. Going into his house, I think. Aww. I've just cleaned the guinea pigs out now and I'm watching Children in Need on telly. So this was on Children in Need, it's actually Children in Need today but this was Children in Need 2013, three years ago. So yeah I'm pretty relaxed and I've got Millie right here and she's super cute. Oh that was little Millie. Oh, I miss all the old guinea pigs. And if you're wondering if the TV actually bothers them, it actually doesn't. I think they quite like the kind of company. I know that sounds weird and you're probably like, no. Even had like a television in there and a Wii and... Hello. I don't think I knew what a vlog even meant at the time. Most of the guinea pigs are asleep now, so I think I'll say bye for today. I actually really like this old setup in the room, it's really nice and cosy, but more for my benefit than them, I suppose. Okay, let's go and see what else we can find. So next video, where to get guinea pigs. I haven't seen this in ages. 
Hello everyone, welcome to part two of A Beginner's Guide to Guinea Pig Hair. Oh my god, my hair is so short here. It was like, I look so, so young. This is something that honestly no one really thinks about and I'm guilty of it myself. I'm guilty of it myself. When we got our first three guinea pigs, Ruby, Oreo and Millie, we didn't even consider adopting. We were just like, oh yeah, there's a pets at home 10 minutes away from our house. Okay, I'm getting bored now. I literally just talk through the whole video. I still do that quite a lot. <laughs> yes, it was very interesting. So this was a really old Q&A video. Hey guys, so first of all, I'd like to say a massive thank you for 500 subscribers. 500 subscribers. The second question is, how old were you when you first got guinea pigs and how old are you now? Unfortunately, I can't answer this question because of internet safety reasons. <laughs> internet safety? <laughs> oh my god. Did I actually just say that? It's just age. Yeah, they've been in quite a few different areas, but now they're always going to stay in this room. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? They're always going to stay in that room. That didn't happen. Um, they also asked, do you have a favourite breed of guinea pig? And my favourite breed of guinea pigs are just the short haired guinea pigs because I think they are so cute as they are. Oh yeah, that's very specific. And I don't really have like a thing for the other types like the long haired ones because... What about Miffy? Oh no, I love my long haired breeds now. I mean, yes they're cute but like they just take a lot more care and like looking after and brushing out all the fur and everything so I don't think I could really do that. Mm, couldn't do that, no, definitely not. I'm going to watch an old Christmassy video because it's nearly Christmas. This is a guinea pig room tour. this intro. Hi guys, today I'm going to be filming a video on the guinea pig's room. That actually looks pretty cool I have to say. I love the little Christmas tree, I'm gonna have to get that up again this year. And I am just going to give you a little tour because I've decorated it all up to make it look nice and Christmassy so I thought I would just show you everything inside. Would you guys like to see a guinea pig shed tour this year for Christmas? Let me know. So, because we don't really have that much in here anymore, I thought I would just do a cage tour in this video of all the cages. I love all the fairy lights, I'm a bit obsessed, if you haven't already noticed. Now moving on to the boys' runs, and we have four guinea pigs in this whole area. See, so yeah, a lot of you probably don't know that we actually used to have male guinea pigs as well. They were in three separate cages. We had a pair of two, then we had two lone males, and they were all in a big CNC cage split so they could see each other. It worked really nicely, actually. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This room's now being used as like a spare room for when people come round, so. One more video. I'm going to be watching the guinea pig nativity because I've got to get in the Christmas spirit early. So the nativity was last year. I'll link it below because I was so proud of her. Ooh, where am I? I honestly spent so much time making all the little outfits for this, <laughs> but I was really proud of it. Ah, uh, yes, I remember I needed to tell someone something. Oh, what was her name? I've forgotten her name. I love the wings, they're like my favourite. Oh, let me think. Yes, yes, I think I've got it. And Miffy, you just make the perfect angel, didn't you? Hang on. No. What was it again? I'm pretty sure it is Ruby. Ah, oh, that's it. Oh, here you are, Ruby. She looks really fed up in that outfit. <laughs> I have some very important news to tell you. And you are going to be... Oh, that's very tasty. That's just typical guinea pig behaviour. Hello, sir. How can I help you? I was just wondering if there is any space left in the inn. My wife is pregnant. Okay, sir, I will just go and check that out for you. It 
it was actually watching this video that made me want to put the guinea pigs back in the shed again. Sorry sir, no room left in the inn but there is a space around the back. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and do something else now. I have got some... I ordered some dried cranberries for Ruby because she has cystitis. She's having like recurrent cystitis. She's permanently got something going on. So I got some of these and I'm going to be supplementing her diet with that just to sort of, you know, help with her issues and hopefully it will sort itself out and just help it get managed really. Oh, it's so dark in my room already. Hello. I've given them some more enrichment in here now. They've got like um, just different toys and things. They've got a little food shelf and I actually really like their setup at the minute. So I've just come out into the guinea pig shed. I thought I would show you the guinea pigs seeing as they've not been a big feature lately. It's mainly been the indoor animals. Um, so they're all doing really well and they're enjoying the new setup. Um, they all seem really happy with it and everything. I've just got some pellets here. There you go. Oh, they're so cute. Panda. Panda will badge them all out of the way, I bet you. Oh. Or maybe that's brownie today. Yeah, you can't really get them all around it, but then after about two minutes, they'll get bored of the pellet, so they can all get in. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, they're all doing really well, and I'm loving the new setup. Really glad to have the hutch back, and it's all just working out quite well, so I'm really happy with that. The only thing I would say is that the, the sort of area coming out of the hutch, which I just showed you, it's not working as well as I would like because, um, I mean, it's working fine. It's just that they're not really using the hidey houses in this area because obviously they've got a nice big hutch. Why would they want to go anywhere else? Um, I was thinking it would be quite nice if I could have some sort of... Um, I'm so cold. <laughs> I think it would be quite nice to have maybe a different type of substrate, whether that be like towels with fleece on, um, and I, to be honest I don't think it would get that messy because if I could have like loads and loads of those little litter trays which I recently bought and then I could have hay racks above them all that would just look so much tidier and I would really like to do that but getting enough towels and fleece to cover this area is easier said than done really so leave your suggestions down below if you have any ideas as to how I could maybe make that a bit easier so yeah i will see you guys in my next video i'll just get a quick clip of the rabbits before i end the vlog because you haven't seen those either oh because outside <laughs> she's following me you need to go inside piper it's only like four o'clock and it's already pitch black oh they get really excited I really love this new bowl. It's got cute little cartoon rabbits on it. I don't even think you can see. <laughs> there they are though. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.